Well, good morning, uh, Trinity. It is great to be with you and uh, come through this uh, amazing invention called the World Wide Web. I hear it's changing lives all over this world. But it's great to be here on this day to celebrate and give you a little bit of what's been happening in my life. It's been 10 years since I was with you last. Um, things have been happening. Uh, we've moved to Malawi and then we've moved back to Paris. Um, Rebecca and I have three amazing kids. Couldn't bring them here, but uh, here's a, a picture to see just how beautiful they are. So feel free to ooh and ah over them. But now we're in Paris and things are happening here. I don't know what to say. I mean, I've been a disappointment. Things haven't worked out. I mean, yeah, I'm in Paris, but who knows for how long. I'm amazed. It's a modern miracle when I come out on a Sunday morning and there's actually people sitting there. Oh, what have I been up to? Oh, man, that's, that's not an easy question. I guess, I guess I could lie. I mean, are they really going to know? Are they really going to drive to Paris and see if it's any of it's true? I can't lie. Like, I'm a pastor. I'm, Jesus says don't lie, but maybe in this case, you know, I could make an exception. It's just going to be a small one. It's not really going to hurt anyone, is it? There's so much to say. I mean, in reality, I wish I could show you, but I'm going to have to simply tell you. Because in all reality, you're, you're not going to come. There's really no need for you to come down here because, you know, you can just take my word for it. I, I wouldn't lie to you. Things in Paris are just booming. I, I think you could safely say we are the first Presbyterian megachurch in Canada. North America, I mean, maybe the world, I mean, things are just booming here, but, but like I said, you, you can trust me, you can, you can believe me, I, I wouldn't lie to you, but besides, if you were to come down here, there, there probably wouldn't be any space for you to sit anyway, so, so just trust me, you, you don't need to show up, but as I think about it, things are going so well, I, I probably can't take all the credit, I mean, clearly, I learned some of this from the time I spent with Sean and all the things that he taught me. Wow, now i got to say, what did I learn? There's got to be something. I mean, I was there for a year. I, I learned something. I remember that time that, no, no, wait, that wasn't, that wasn't Sean. Okay. Oh, but I remember that one time I learned, no, no, again, that wasn't, wasn't Sean. Surely I learned something. I mean, I, I couldn't have spent all that time there and not have learned a single thing. <sighs> I'm drawing a blank. I'm drawing a blank. Ah, oh, okay, I lied once. Maybe another lie won't be that big of a deal. I mean, it, Jesus got to like baseball, right? Like three strikes and then you're out. So this will only be strike number two. I, I mean, it's a celebration. I, I got to say something good about the guy. So there's many things that I could share with you. I mean, Sean taught me so, so much. It was difficult for me to figure out which one I would share first. So I thought I would just simply share the one thing that was most important. Sean always taught me, never, ever lie. Be truthful. Be authentic. Because it'll always come back to get you in the end anyways. Well, it's great to have shared a few moments with you. I wish you all of the best in your future endeavors. And again, thank you for the time that I spent with you. And, and best of luck with, with all that is about to take place.